What's up, Canes fans? It is the Beast after Miami beats Duke in ridiculous, amazing, unbelievable fashion. 30 to 27 here at Wallace Wade Stadium in Durham, North Carolina. And uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a finish like that. I think they're still reviewing something. I don't even know what happened. Uh, there's a chance someone's knee might have been down. There's a chance there might have been some sort of penalty. But in the end, Miami wins a game, a coastal game. And uh, in this turbulent week of Miami football, to be honest with you, these kids needed this, this win. And I feel so happy for these kids. Um, I could sit here and rant about the, uh, you know, the 23 penalties for 194 yards. I can find negatives. Uh, of course, George Baez wouldn't like that because uh, evidently uh, he doesn't like when I say anything negative about the program, uh, which is why he basically verbally accosted me as we were uh, leaving the stadium. But that's neither here nor there. What's here is that Miami won an amazing football game in their division, and this team needed this. After their coach gets fired, uh, which, by the way, George, that wouldn't have happened if you if you didn't lose 58 to nothing to Clemson. But the coach gets fired. Artie Berman's uh, mom passes away. Uh, you had a, a legal incident with one of the players. Brad Kaya gets a concussion, and this team rebounded in a week when it would have been so easy to fall flat on their faces. They rebounded in spectacular fashion uh, in beating Duke. And I want you to just understand this for a second. Uh, coach Cutcliffe and Duke. I mean, Coach Cut is one of the is what I think one of the best coaches in the country. What he's done with this program, with you know, only a couple years ago they were still the laughing stock. And the bottom line is Duke is extremely well coached. And I know it's hard to say. I know you don't want to think of it like this, but Duke's a good team, right? Number 22 in the country. And for Miami to come out and win this game, it really showed a lot in their preparation for what they had to go through this week. I need to talk about Malik Roger. This kid. Came out this week, 20 of 29. He did throw the one interception, that was costly. Two touchdown, 272 yards. He was sacked only once. Uh, I got the wind knocked out of him. But he threw the ball crisp. I thought he threw the ball uh, with a lot of uh, zazz on it. Um, and he did a good job. For him to come out and make his first start uh, on the road, granted not the toughest environment to play, you know, uh, at Wallace Wade Stadium, but still pretty amazing what Malik Rozier did uh, for the Miami Hurricanes. They got Virginia homecoming next week. That's a winnable game. And listen, I'll tell you what, you know, I've been a negative Nancy and I had a right to be, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, because this team was not going in the right direction. Blake James made the decision to fire Al Golden and it was the right decision that had to be made. And now going forward, uh, there's not that problem. So let's root for the kids. Let's uh, root for Coach Scott. Let's let the uh, coaching hire, uh, uh, kind of uh, pro pr pr process take care of itself uh, and now we can just kind of have fun rooting for the team again we don't have to worry about banners and everything else going around with this program and we can just watch this team play football and you know what that's pretty freaking awesome so uh, from Wallace Wade Stadium where I think it might have been the greatest play in Miami Hurricanes history uh, maybe um, we're talking like also the Tremaine Mack blocked punt in 96 at West Virginia. We're talking the pass breakup in the Orange Bowl when Miami won the championship in 83. There's some pretty good plays in Miami history, but this ranks up there. This is going to be on SportsCenter for a long time. One of the best plays ever. So uh, you give props to the Canes for that. And uh, I'm excited uh, to be coming home to Miami after a, a, a victory, dare I say it, in the Coastal. Although I vowed I would never say that word again, but I don't have my Pepto-Bismol with me this time, so I guess it's okay. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to everyone for watching uh, all these videos, uh, especially the last one. And George Baez, thank you too for being a mensch. You're unbelievable and a great representative of the University of Miami. Peace. I'm out.